Hi, doggone here, back here with you. Well, I went back over to the village, sand, the Sand People Village, which is where. Wow. What? How am I possibly that far away from? That makes no sense. It should be right over me. Um, I went back to the Sand People Village to determine <clears throat> just how um, whether or not there was a Tinker's Workshop, uh, Tinker's, you know what I'm saying, Tinker's Construct Workshop. There we go. Um, Creeper, I'm waiting to see if he's going to come up here and verify there's not a Tinker's Construct workshop back at the uh, village. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and was really, I'm really bugged by how um, crazy these villagers are acting, and there's a um, zombie sounds coming from near from underneath the uh, the village people so I thought well I'll uh, dig I'll, I'll get into the house underneath the village the the big um, house that the villagers keep going in and out of oh there's a phone going off sorry about that um, and I'll see oh lovely to I'll see if um, I can figure out where these zombies are. So I dug straight down, and I, a couple things happened. First, I ended up here in this cavern system, which is why I'm exploring it, and I think I'm just about to use up this pick, so I'm going to pull up out of it. Uh, I think it might be nighttime, and um, oh, it's just a reflection on my monitor. Um, so I discovered this cavern complex and I thought I would check it out right quick, but it's far too deep. The um, zombie sounds went away long before I got to this level. Oh man, nice. I was so flat. Hey. Come back here, bat. Give me, give me infinite bat mode, bat. Share with me your bat, batatronic powers. Give me your bat powers. Oh, I didn't morph. Oh, wonder if he. Um, well, the morph, the bat morph, was really a wonderful morph for us, uh, for us lamers. Looks like that has been nerfified. Waterstone. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, I just thought I would mess around in this level and uh, in this cavern system and see what I could find. And as you can see, I found some nice stuff. However, I went right past the um, the zombie noises level. And um, frankly, I'm not sure where I am right now. The other thing that I found, see that factorization manual? I was digging straight down. I got a few layers underneath this little, uh, I dug, I went into the house directly opposite the commons house that they keep going in and out, in and out of and started digging straight down, blocked up the doors and dug straight down to see to find where the zombie noises were coming from. Didn't find them, but there was a dropper underground. And the dropper, all it had in it was the factorization manual. Don't understand what that's about. Um, why would there be a dropper buried under a random house in a village without any clue to whether it's there? I, I don't know, man. Happy to have found it 
it just seems very odd that it was there. Hear the zombie noises? I tried to set a bed and sleep, but it wouldn't let me. It said zombie, it said monsters nearby, which I totally get that. Oh, good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, still haven't found the bad guys that these guys are responding to. We'll do that another day. Meanwhile, the villagers are still alive and well, at least. Really like that guy looks like what do you call it? What do the uh, practicing Jewish folks wear on their head? Looks like that. Added a few doors here and there, uh, and I will. I don't. You see this house with the caged bar with the bars on? It? That's that's kind of weird, isn't it? Kind of weird. I just I made a few doors, and I thought I would just add a few doors. Oops, um, out of bed, doors. Not sure this is really going to matter because um, the villagers don't seem to be using this area whatsoever. Are these two connected in some way? Hmm. Oh, I don't have my pick. Well, we've got a lot of loot to take back to the base, for sure. Beautiful. We've got a split-level house right here. Split-level condo. Nice. Split-levels are pretty nice, in reality. They are not for kids. You don't want to have kids with a split level house, but pretty cool, you know, otherwise. I think, can I put a, um, yeah, I can put it right here. What else? Is there anything else going on since we last speak? Speaketh. That's a bad idea. I don't have a chest to put that in. Seven. Yeah, how about that? It looks nice, doesn't it? It's already getting dark again. I think it is. It is not. It is brilliant noon. Okay, so at some point, I gotta find out. <coughs> There's a hobgoblin. Go ahead. Hobgoblin. Oh, he's a tiny little hobgoblin. Cool. Isn't it just wonderful how the hobgoblins peacefully coexist with the villager friends? Oh, here's the other place I need a door. I, although I wonder if that's what's making my villagers go nuts. Do they perceive the hobgoblins as a threat? <clears throat> I already checked this little system out and it doesn't go underground. It looks fine. So there's obviously a void somewhere down in here. And I need to find it at some point, but today let's just get back to the let's get back to our home base with our loot. <clears throat> yeah.
keep working the baby steps. You know, it's possible zombies simply spawned in the darkness down there. Or spawned anywhere out here in the darkness. And we're freaking out my villager friends. Of course, it would get dark down here more quickly than it would up there. station. Here's the other library. So we've got lots of books. Should we get to the point of needing... Um, uh, we need to get these dudes out of here. Um, let's do this. Uh, do I have inventory? I do not. Do not. Oh, hey. A friend is in love. Good for you. The House of Reproduction. Repro Depot. I was talking earlier uh, about <clears throat> how um, doing the YouTube thing has really made me aware of um, breathing issues I've had. Wow. Fiery skeleton burned to death. Wow, that was an awesome sound. Hey, what are you? What? <gasps> What's going on? What just happened here? Wow. <clears throat> it really has brought home how um, how many clearing my throat, coughing, breathing, sniffing sounds I have. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, I don't know how to fix it. I could take meds. Mm. Sudafed, decongestants just make me, um, you know, all that stuff starts... Um, processing out and I have to cough or sneeze or, or blow my nose to get it out, you know, all the junk, mucus, um, and uh, antihistamines put me to sleep. And so even the non-drowsy ones put me to sleep. So it's just something I'm aware of and I'll just have to endeavor to keep getting, being aware of it and getting better as much as I can. Also, it, you know, it brings home to me just how... Um, how slow I am with so many things uh, and that's I, I think it, it, at the end of the day that's just me um, and I'm just I'm just slow that's all there is to it <clears throat> so we have some inventory space here See, that's iron. I think I have. Did I get another iron already? No, I have aluminum. Aluminium. Uh, they, I think these grow better in low light conditions, but they do grow fine in normal light. And it's best if you put them where you can't jump on top of them or run into them because you'll take damage. It's kind of like running into a thorny rose bush or something. up. Actually, no marble goes here. Factorization manual. Bad. Part of that, um, being slow about things, part of it has to do, though, with mm, broadcasting. As soon as the mic turns on, my my IQ just drops. I, um, it also drops in um, um, UHC, Ultra Hardcore Challenges. Uh, and I find that really odd, you know. 
Um, I don't know why that is, but uh, it seems to be not just me. It seems to be almost um, universal. Friends have, have noticed the same issue. Sleep. <clears throat> it's strange. It's uh, it's as if it's perhaps it's using the same bandwidth as another part of the brain uh, using the same bandwidth uh, as the part of the brain that deals with thinking and talking perhaps are using the same bandwidth that's what I'm trying to say Oops. not sure how I'm going to do this Probably have create a ladder, perhaps. Stairs, stairs. Maybe here I can do it like this. There's a yet another aspect of my um, broadcasting that has brought some things home to me, and that is That's a half slab. If I just half slab this thing down, <coughs> that would be a half slab. And no, I'd have to full slab it. That would be a full slab. Half slab, full slab, half slab. Uh, towards that for now, I might come up with a little use for that nook later. I uh, the other issue is that I have um, I'd almost go so far as to classify it as a speech impediment. I get tripped up on words often, um, yet words are my profession. They are what I do. I teach and I uh, and I write. Okay, that's going to cause a problem with this doohickey. That that'd be a problem. <laughs> Okay, not the most elegant, but functional. functional. I think, you know what? Functional. Sometimes functional just ain't where it's at. I think about what I'm about to say. When I'm thoughtless and when I'm speaking, 
I often say something that I'm thinking or thinking about thinking, if that makes any sense. Instead of saying what I mean, I say something perhaps not even related. Um, other people do it, I, and I know it. It's not a, it's not an uncommon issue. I do it a lot. Okay, how many ladder? I think I need more. I need one more. One, two. That should be plenty. Oh, more than plenty. In fact, so many plenty that uh, I have enough for both sides here. I have this problem in the classroom. Um, I say something. I start to speak and I'll either slur my words together, combine two words accidentally, somewhat like a spoonerism, or simply um, Or simply, you know, get get words wrong, and I really have to stop and think about things, uh, which is another thing that my students pick up on. They're like, uh, I don't know, it makes me sound a little bit like I'm like the legendary professor who. quite often and I'm not that guy I over imbibed a couple of times in my life and realized that is not the life for me it's not fun and I don't enjoy it um, a half a beer is plenty for me plenty for me which most of my friends, my guy friends, are like, that's half a beer. I'm like, yeah, that's plenty. They're like, huh? Like, you're not a real man. Well, I mean, it's not that I'm a lightweight either. I weigh 195, 100, 200 pounds. I'm not, it's not that I have low body mass. Like many women, that's why many women have, they can, they can get tipsy really quickly. I can get tipsy quickly, eh, not tipsy tipsy, but uh, aroma back up. Interesting. I should know what that was. I can get a little bit of buzz pretty quickly, but I don't know about tipsy. In any case, um, that tipsy professor is not me. Unfortunately. That level, which is, do, do, do. we just put it here. First level, first level. Trying to find an optimal torch configuration here that doesn't look crappy. Um, you know they say um, drowsy driving is drunk driving. I uh, that's that is definitely an issue I have drowsiness. Um, and that's one of the things the um, doctor gave me some sleep meds and that is definitely something that we're working on uh, that he wants me to work on getting better I thought this, wait a minute sand people oh that's right there's another village oh, I'm a, okay I'm a dummy I'm a derp I didn't mark my uh, 
nearby village because it's um, so close to here I didn't want to as you know I don't care for the um, waypoint spamming interesting that uh, cane is growing next to that sludge cane can grow in sl uh, really or is that oil? That's oil. That's weird. <clears throat> okay, so we've got two entrances from the rear. <laughs> Back door. Back door man. What if we... I wonder what is right back here. Hmm. That would be almost perfect. Except that's where I got my ore berries. Just gonna mark that with a torch. Yeah, I've had some days in the classroom though where it's um, uh, I've had some looks from students, and I realized after the fact that that's kind of what they were wondering. Is that the oh yeah oh 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 so go like that does that fix it not really does that fix it not really hmm. is that oops okay I need to go to the corners here boink that fixes that fixes that. Oh, we got a little dark place right back here, too. Probably. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's look through the night. And that's kind of connected. My stumbling over words is connected to um, saying uh and um a lot. My mom used to go on to me so often for saying uh and um. I still do it. I just found slightly better ways of of uh, saying it, so that my students don't get spectacularly bored with me in the classroom. I, one of the techniques I've used is just um, just just um, it's just shake them up uh, once in a while, say something that jolts them. Um, and so that kind of covers for it, but it's still, it, it's both, it's a sign of tripping over words, somewhat of a sign of sort of cross-wiring in the brain, um, not the, not that, um, how to say this. Not trying to say that something is. There's that. Look at that. R node. Wow. Crazy man. A spot in my eye. When I'm spontaneous, I don't have a problem. It's when I'm thinking carefully about what I need to say, and I want to be very careful about what I say that I trip up. Here. Okay. That torch will help. Uh, let's turn that off. That torch will help me to navigate straight through the. Um, Avenue of Quicksand. Good morning, son. I'm going to stay. Maybe it's more related to uh, the issues that I have, the cognition issues, basically, I have um, the language issues that I seem to have in that it takes me time to work through the verbal centers. That might be a better way of saying it. My verbal, verbal centers are slow. And that's what makes me slow to react. I, If I react immediately, um, I'm thinking things that I just get frustrated. I can't really express them. And that's really, really frustrating. When I'm under a lot of stress, I say exactly the wrong thing. If I'm not under stress, I say exactly the right thing so often. But if I'm under stress, weird stuff comes out of my mouth. I mean, just... Bromeliads are beautiful. 
stuff that um, makes no particular sense either in the moment or out of the moment and doesn't help my arguments in any case um, <gasps> I saw it thought I had stopped thought I had saved so oh, that was weird wait a minute okay so um, anyway I'm not uh, not to say I'm, I'm not real down on myself here I just want to uh, I'm, I'm aware of my uh, shortcomings and uh, just wanted to say appreciate you listening in and I know it can be a challenge listening to my YouTubes You what I don't know if I'm gonna take coal for granted in a very long time because my rockets rifles and robot server are generated without coal or iron and oh my word you talk about it. tough start it's what, what do they call that uh, mod pack it's, it's where you start on the island in the sky without almost without anything yeah, whatever that is. Oh, shouts out to Mega Kyrops who, um, who actually who said that. Get out of my way. Those bubbles look like eyeballs. Um, yeah, Mega said that. He was like, uh, it's essentially just like this. Starting in a world without iron and coal. So I'm not taking it for granted now. I really am enjoying it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, enough yapping. Whoa. Yippity yapping. Wow. These orberry bushes, when they do occur, they, they do they seem to occur in much larger pockets than they used to in the previous pack. All right. Once again, I'm listening to Robert Rich Somnium as I um, speak, as I play. I encourage you also to listen to Somnium. It's... Um, Especially in the evening when you need to chillax. I'm not going to get too excited about most things, so I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to wake you up if you want to listen to this as you fall asleep. Let's see which way that way. Just about did it again. Oops. Just want to check out the Sand People Village to make to double ch whoa, check. Almost fell off there. To double check and make sure that there are no Tinker's Construct workshops. Perhaps I missed them on the missed it on the first time through. If there is one. I've um, taken to listening to various YouTube podcasts and what have you as I fall asleep at night. It gives me some reason to look forward to going to bed. And uh, I'm like, oh, I can go listen to Arumba's EU4 uh, Holy Roman Emperor race. Uh, you know, and, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, time to go to bed and listen to that. Um, so it gives me a, a, an incentive to go to bed. However, um, if 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 the if the uh, LPer gets excited, then it kind of wakes me up. And so, can I harvest that? 
It seems to be breaking. Uh, it's not breaking. Okay. No worries. I didn't think it would. Just remember it was on a line straight from here to there. Which I think I talked about once before. So you can probably rest assured I won't be getting too excited in my podcasts. I'll be raising my voice and pitch or in volume very much. So perhaps a good good um, series with which to fall asleep. I, you know what I need to do? I need to start putting my uh, YouTubes back into a playlist so folks can do exactly that if they want to. Just click a, a doggone playlist and and enjoy some happy Z's. My dog sure does. It sure works for her. Maybe maybe this is a playlist to put your dog to sleep. My dog really enjoys snoozy time with big dog. Mm. She's all like, you go ahead, you go ahead, big dog. You just play your YouTube's as deep. Beehive out right in the middle of the basalt. A modest hive. <clears throat> oh, there's a straw man. You know what's underneath a straw man? Spawner. All right, let's see what's underneath this straw man. Skelly spawner. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a torch next to it and put a torch, two torches on Mr. Strawman. Grab a couple of uh, raspberry bushes, bush or shrubberies. This could eventually be a spawner. Harvester for arrows and bones and uh, bows for us. That would be awesome. Could really use that in the early game. Especially magical bow. Could go offline and do some grindy grindy. Wait a minute. Oh. Just. Uh oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't. I can't. I can't float. Get me out of here. I'm dead. I'm so dead. He like dead. He's so dead. Boy, that was that was really close. Ooh, that was. What is that stuff? oil. That was that was so close. I may have screwed the pooch hair. So to speak. Ah made it. Good morning sunshine. I was hurrying over here to get um before I almost drowned in that oil. Saltpeter ore. Lots of saltpeter over here. Okay. I was hurrying over here to get to my bed and realized at the last moment I don't have a bed over here. Okay, that's the Alchemist. It's the train depot. The library. Don't hear the sound of my villager friends. Uh, I do see a skeleton. Nana, nana, boo, boo. Oh! I didn't do 
it, dude. Wow. Did you even see him coming? I did not even see him coming. Wow. Well, these villagers might be put. Ouch. Took an arrow in the, in the butt. Maybe the arm. The elbow. Took an arrow to the elbow. Used to be an adventurer like you. Took an arrow to the elbow. I had so much fun playing uh, Skyrim. It took me a long time to... It had to get cheap before I would buy it. But then, when it did get cheap, I really enjoyed it. Oh, he gave me a bow. Thank you, Skelly. And Creeper. Making that easy for me. Good as new. And uh, thanks to my iron armor, didn't take too much damage. Houses look undestroyed. Good. Look, at the houses are undestroyed, but where are the villagers at? Where are the village people? There's some villagers. A villager. Okay. Um, unless that hut that doesn't. That's the only hut that could possibly have a Tinker's Construct workshop in it. And it's too small. This is the little witch's shack. Rowan wood. Smoke tree in the cauldron. Cauldron. This will actually save me. Thank you, witch. Hey, hey you. Thanks. Eloise Steel. Oh, no, I'm sorry, El. I don't mean to waste your time like that. I shall endeavor not to waste your time any further. I could use a few doors here. It would be a project for further analysis, for further uh, work later. At some point, we need to get on with the harvesting of the wheat so that we can uh, make um, trade for villager friends. Perhaps I'll be doing some gardening off camera. sort of wondering about doing live streams and I'm not sure I have a tough enough skin to do live streams. I guess that's the main issue. Um, I would enjoy doing it but I uh, don't know if um, you know it's um, not very entertaining for a lot of people, so it'd be sort of a sleep stream. That's what I'd have to call it. Live stream, sleep stream with dog. 
you know what it might work especially because I'm up all hours of the night <clears throat> that would be fun It'd be fun to do a few hours sleep stream here I'd enjoy that I could encourage everyone to pull up the seven hour somnium YouTube uh, if they like it of course purchase the uh, audio DVD oh wow this was so this was not a this was a basalt field that doesn't have a active volcano at the top certainly not a cinder cone ah here is the volcano it is an active uh, volcano but doesn't have the classic cinder cone it's sort of a slump vo volcano to the left. It'd be really cool if these volcanoes were perpetual source blocks of lava that you could take a source block and it would re recreate. You know they are rare enough that um, you know you could take a source block it would recreate itself but there's a small probability that it will um, explode So that it would kind of discourage you from building close to it. At the same time, it would be a cool find to uh, you know, get material, get some lava from. Maybe occasionally when it explodes, it explodes out diamond ore. Maybe a volcano is uh, a good source of that kind of uh, diamond ore of, of the rare the rare ores, the gem ores, and rich source of those things. Ah, the icy iris tiny biome. Great wood tree, beautiful. I went into the mod pack I should tell you that I encountered, I've encountered twice now sources of tremendous lag. You know about the first when I put down the crafting station and the grindstone near the storage chests uh, but that was just that was very minor compared to what happened later I was under the uh, village over there looking for the zombie source and I dug down to a certain point and suddenly I had lagged so bad it was probably one frame every five seconds that's that's how bad it was so that's uh, that's one reason I haven't. There's a little bit of a gap between the last episode and this episode. The lag was terrible, and I went in to see if I could turn off some of the mod packs, some of the mods in the pack. Can't really turn them off, um, especially the thaumaturgy, uh, thaumic mods. I wanted to turn off the magic and can't. So, so we're going to live with that. I'm, I'm going to live with that. You can always... You don't have to, of course. Plenty of viewing options. But I uh, I'll put this bow in there until I can make full use of it. I have some a bow and some damaged bow and some arrows. So wasn't able to. 
uh, short story long. I was not able to, so I can't put that down next to a torch. Cannot put that next to a torch. Okay. Is it dark? It's getting there. I better sleep. All right. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a nice sleep. Look at that beautiful sunset. Sleep, and um, I'm gonna go out and plant these berry bushes. We'll call it an episode. So yeah, I had terrible, terrible lag, and the only thing that fixed it was a closing and restarting. I mean, closing Feed the Beast completely and restarting. I tried to close Minecraft. I closed Minecraft and went to restart it, and the whole Feed the Beast client just crashed. Um, so, pretty sure there's a memory leak going on here. Pretty sure we've got what's basically nothing more and less than a memory leak in one of the mods, but who knows which one. Who knows, man. There we go. Beautiful. Raspberry bushes. When those do well, we'll come around the corner with some uh, blueberry bushes and maybe some uh, mallowberry and uh, what's the other one? Blackberry? Good morning, son. Namaste. All right, well, I'm going to leave the here and we will be back in another day, another episode, another time. <sighs> wow. Okay. Creeper says we're not done yet. Maybe that's a good reason to have a wider perimeter of quicksand. Whew. did not see that guy coming. All right, well, let's try this again. See you next time. Oh, man. It's ominous. I just had... I just had a great idea. I'm going to leave you with that teaser, and I'll be back to execute the great idea. See you.